Imagine a never-ending cruise. The bands are playing, the theaters are full, and the restaurants are crowded. Along with every modern comfort, there's fun, laughter, games, and gadgets. The party always has one more joke or one more dance to keep it going. Passengers think of the cruise as an entitlement, not a vacation. What is their final destination? How long is the cruise? And who will pay the bills? No one really knows. They just want to keep the party going. As the endless party goes on, finances dwindle. Debts soar. Eventually, scuffles break out. Unpaid crew members start quarreling, and the food supply runs short. But still, no one has the courage to face reality and stop the party. America is that cruise ship. Our economy is in crisis. Government spending is out of control. America is divided and polarized. Our moral values are under assault. Should we continue prolonging the party? No. As we sail into a raging storm, we must close the hatches and plot a new course. Not the course of frantic spending and unbridled pleasure, nor the socialist path to bankruptcy and revolution that shipwrecked so many nations in history. We must return to honor. We must return to order. Announcing, return to order from a frenzied economy to an organic Christian society where we've been, how we got here, and where we need to go. Unless we have the courage to draw upon our rich Christian tradition and place our trust in providence, we will neither steer clear of disaster nor arrive in safe harbor. Join the debate and help our nation chart its return to order.